But but then you you've built up Bray Wyatt. Exactly. So strong. I was talking to B about this uh, before he went back to Fat Camp, and I'm like, maybe the Undertaker is not gonna lose, but it's not gonna. He's win not gonna by win either. either. It's it's gonna be like, like um, a DQ. Well, maybe that whole Bo Dallas fraction, that whole thing is gonna start taking effect. Yeah. And that's going to come down to be an interference. And so, yeah, Taker doesn't lose. He doesn't really lose, but he doesn't he really wins. win. Either. Yeah. Well, he that, wins, that but way he they didn't can, get a pinfall. They can leave credi- credi- credibility credibility on both parts. Because yeah. how are you going to kill... I, I don't, see, I that's, don't, see, that's the I mean, thing I mean, that's Mania. what makes it kind of exciting about the match, because you don't really know what's going to happen. That's the thing at Mania, though. You don't want to end a match in DQ and be like, oh, well, now you have... But the thing is, if you end a match by DQ, it kind of keeps people thinking, gets them to watch the next shitty pay-per-view that's not WrestleMania. See, it's the same thing with the Sting, though. Sting's winning. How is he going to lose his first match in WWE? Sting, he's not. Sting's winning. I don't think there's a question about that match. Ah. Triple H has proven the past couple of WrestleManias. He's willing to... He hasn't won in the past. This so the I, I, I am assuming Monday Night on Raw, when Sting, sh- Sting shows up, he's going to get his ass kicked then. Oh, yeah. Unless they don't beat him up at all. Because you need to keep Sting looking strong. Well, you too. know always that Monday night before that pay-per-view, if somebody gets That's their, what I'm thinking about gets their the ass Brock. kicked, usually wins. There so are so... Like... These, see, I think the two matches, we really... Well, technically, I don't... The latter match... I'm up, and, on, I'm up in the air against that match, too, Brock. And that's the thing. I don't know where it's going to go. Because you have reports coming out, Triple H is pushing for Brock to win the match. Yeah. Which means they're close on a deal. And they're telling... From what I read the other day, they're saying that... Um, one of the ways they're going to keep Brock there is to keep him with the belt. Yeah. I don't think Roman Reigns is ready. Neither do I. His promos are shit. Yeah, I, he, I don't think he's ready. And plus they're saying that, uh, which first of all, I love when they do the the interviews with Brock. When uh, it's like a UFC style interview. It's just black yeah. background and they just let him shoot. Um, those are great. They're saying... The reason Heyman and Brock have been mentioned and him coming in and beating The Rock and sending him to Hollywood, right. they want that at next year's Mania. As so a match, be, Brock versus Rock. Is he going to hold the belt to that? I wouldn't be... It wouldn't be that big a stretch. Well, you know what? He could actually lose the belt throughout the year and then win it back and then fight Rock at WrestleMania. You know, I don't think they want... That's the thing. I don't know if what they are you gonna, What are you going to do with the money the in the bank, though? Is he going to lose the... you got to get rid of that because the next... Pay-per-view coming up here. Two a couple pay-per-views, yeah. Next money in the, money in the bank. Um, Unless they do something really off the fucking wall and he wins that money in the bank and he has two money in the bank briefcases. Well, he'd like only two, get one. one two run shots out. at the title. One runs out. And then... That's the only reason I can see Brock losing the title. But there would only be one money in the bank then. There won't be two money in the bank matches because there's only one belt now. Yeah. Hmm. But you only get one, one year, so you have till the next Money in the Bank pay per view to cash in. August uh, Raw is at DCU Center, or something like that. Forgot to tell you. Let's look into it. Not Raw. Um, it's actually a Saturday pay per view. Oh, Our like Paris. a live event. A live too, event. Dude. Live events are always the best. Yeah, it's gonna be. They don't it's on a Saturday it. at seven, which is nice. It's on yeah. Saturday night. Yeah, they don't shove storylines down your throat. Yeah. You I might be able to go meet people. That's right. Go stand out back where they come up to the hotel. A lot of well, a lot of the times too, they'll do um, lately at least NXT guys. A couple of NXT guys have been traveling. Do signings. Um, sometimes. They might have tables set up out front. Sometimes, yeah. Get autographs and that bull crap. All that fun stuff. Maybe CM Punk will be there. I don't know why, but. Yeah, CM Punk. Well, he, you know. You never know. AJ. You know. AJ. <laughs> it's Ian Punk. Ian right. Punk he comes all the way to Massachusetts. I still think he's coming back. WrestleMania 32? Not convinced. Come on, WrestleMania 32. He'll still be under contract with the UFC. Oh, his first fight's coming up. He's going to get knocked out, and he's going to be done with that. Don't and say he's going to be like, no, your face. Don't say Your that. pretty face. He's going to... His first fight, he'll fight Anderson Silva. Probably kill Anderson Silva. He'll give him the GTS. He's going to use full wrestling moves. Did you read that storyline about him? He still thinks he's fucking wrestling? 
Who? Uh, CM Punk. What do you mean? Uh, it was on um, Yahoo. He had a, he had a um, I don't know. He was in the ring with somebody and he was started doing wrestling moves. Yeah, he thought he was wrestling. <laughs> really? It's one of those things he couldn't freaking snap out of or something. Imagine if that happened in a fight. Yeah. Oh, that'd be. He awesome. comes up to him and goes, "Dude, what are you doing?" <laughs> He's like, "Quit power slam me." <laughs> Whistles in his air. I'll, I'll kick back out. Back body drop. Back body drop. I'll kick out of two. <laughs> that would be the best. I see that would be something to be like. Yeah, I can pay and watch this. <laughs> I can pay and watch that. Punch me in the groin. Punch <laughs> me in the groin. Low blow. Low blow. Climb Did, up the top of the cage and do a flip off the top. I actually just saw something. Uh, I was watching a replay of the UFC fights from this past weekend. Yeah. And Overeem kicked Big Country in the nuts so hard it took Big Country off his feet. Like, he, oh. he got airborne. That had to hurt. Yeah, probably. I would assume he took the full five minutes to get ready. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I can't even imagine that. You just get right kicked. Up your ass. Pretty much. Like, can you imagine you just get kicked in the nuts so Makes hard you wanna, leave your feet? Makes me want to throw up in my mouth. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, um, Raw this week, solid, C+, plus, Raw? B-, minus. I, I watched Raw this afternoon, or this morning, actually. I Raw. Sorry. No, it's okay, I love that sound um, effect. I didn't Raw. You just told actually, me... Yeah, I, I did Raw. I, I, Raw. I like the end, it was decent. Oh, the Sting, did you watch on the network when Sting talked? It was predictable, but, you know... The whole... Uh, yeah, I did watch Raw. I, I recently tried to fucking get onto the network so I could see it. I just watched it this, uh, I watched that this afternoon when I was on my lunch break. He bumbled over his words a few times. He did, but, I mean, what did, what were people expecting? They built it up, oh, Sting's first words, and he literally just said, I've been waiting 14 years to come here, and I'm gonna shut down Triple H and end the authority. Like, he didn't say anything special. He no. said what they've been pushing the whole time. He looked, without his makeup, too, he looks bad. Yeah. I saw pictures of him in the airport that night before, um, or that morning before the uh, Raw. He looks bad I watched, um, I was watching Throwback Thursday on the network the other day. Yeah. And they were doing a lot of WCW. Yeah, I noticed that. They did, um. Old Nitros and Clash of Clan, or Clash of uh, Champions. The Starcade where they did a point system. Yeah, it was it was done. against Ric Flair, right? Yeah, Ric Flair was one of them, but it was all done on points. If you won, you got twenty points. If you lost, you got nothing. Yeah, and everybody would fight it. They were fighting like three times a night. It was a gauntlet. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Ric Flair. Ric Flair was what, what was this? Nineteen eighty nine, I think it was. It was Jack? Was Star Kid? He was fucking jacked. I'm, he comes walking out. I'm like, what? Have you ever? Oh, you haven't watched his special then on the network. No. He said before he got, like, big, when he first started uh, training for wrestling, he was 300 pounds of solid muscle. He looked big. He was he was big back in the day. That's like now, you look at Sting. Luga. I, Luga was fucking huge, too. You look at Sting now, and you're like, oh, okay. You're like, you're chubby. You don't wrestle with just your singlet anymore. You have to wear a t-shirt. People forget Sting used to be built like a brick shit house. Sting was Ultimate Warrior's tag team partner back in the day. You know, um, they were both bodybuilders. Yeah, Sting used to own his own Gold's Gym. Yeah. And he used to see all the wrestlers come in. And that's actually how he got his start. Yep. But yeah, people forget Sting used to be a brick shit house. I wish he would have gotten in better shape before finally showing up on TV. It's kind of sad, like... Because I remember him from the 90s. and He did the Stinger Splash. He did, but but you know what I mean? For me, it's sad. Like, I, I still remember him from the 90s. You yeah. remember him from the 80s. And he has to wear a t-shirt now to cover up his 50-whatever-year-old belly. Or I remember him from the... the 60-year-old belly, whatever it is. Late 70s. It's the Blade Runners. I think it was. I mean, I in the early '70s, I used to watch. Uh, no, it would have been mid '80s, I thought. Well, yeah, in the early '70s, I used to watch um, the Von Erichs and the Freebirds and all those guys. I used to have to stand up and have my brother hold the antenna so get yeah, the fucking I channel think, to come in. I think you've mentioned that on here before. Black and white TV, trying to watch wrestling. Yeah. 
So the good old days when wrestling was free. That's right. But yeah, um, yeah, those were some good matches back then. A lot of good matches back then. A lot of good wrestlers back then. Yeah, I wish it would. Yeah, I said this before, but you know, I wish it would get back to wrestling. I'm telling you, you need to watch NXT consistently. You you will not be. There's sa- supposed to be some good matches this week. Fair. NXT. I, I watched. Like, I watched. I watched it last night. Well, that's why I couldn't watch it. I was trying to watch it. It's it, it was stopped like a quarter of the way through. What time were you trying to watch it? It was like nine thirty, ten, somewhere around there. I think you were watching, so I tried to watch it at the same spot, and it wouldn't let me play it. it kept oh, saying yeah. Era. Yeah, we... So that's the thing. We can't watch this... Oh, fuck. We can watch different shows, but not the same. Unless... I don't, I don't know. We did that here before. That, but were we all watching the same show? Yeah, we pulled it all up at the same time. That's right. I don't know. We'll see how... How, um... We'll see what happens. WrestleMania goes. I mean... I just found out I have to be in East Hartford for 8 o'clock for the next month, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So there's a chance I might have to catch WrestleMania on a replay and just not look anything, that not sucks. look anything about it. Yeah. Stay off the Facebook page because you know B's going to be posting stay off all the, night. Stay off the Facebook, stay off Twitter. It's stay off. tough to do. Turn my phone off so I don't get updates. Hall of Fame. I'll watch the Hall of Fame, no doubt about that. God, they're putting a lot of people in this year. I know, Zabisco. Well, just... And there's still they reports... Just, they just put some new person in. I have no... Some oh, black some, person. Oh, was it a... Or Mexican. I have no idea who it was. I thought it was Japanese. Oh, yeah, maybe it was. Takahaka Tatsu Tatsu Fujinami. Yeah. I don't know who that is. So, and supposedly the last one going in is... Kevin Diesel. Nash, yeah. Which, I don't know how they're gonna do that... Yeah, it's an Asian dude. Um, international legend, known as the Dragon, trained under Antonio Inoki, debuted in the 70s. All right, he did the Dragon Sleeper and Dragon Suplex, so you know who he trained was Ultimo Dragon. Um, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Kevin Nash is going in as Diesel, that way next year he can go they in can with go the NWO. As the NWO. That's what I figured when they put, um, whatchamacallit. Stupid move. They um, haven't even put X Pac in yet. Yeah, X Pac. I don't think he's gonna go in as the, in the NWO. I think they'll just do the original three. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just reading about this. So X Pac is gonna go in with DH? No. As or DX? DX. <laughs> I hope not. I don't think the only. Dude, he was the only guy that was in both fucking things. Yeah, I still don't think he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. What? He's their buddies. You don't think they're going to put him in? I hope they don't. What about Road Dog and fucking the other one, New Age Outlaws? Do you think the New Age Outlaws should get in before the um, Billy and Bart Gunn? Billy and Bart Gunn? Yeah. Yes. Why? Because Bart Gunn. Do you. All right. If you weren't a big wrestling. How many people know Billy and Bart Gunn right now? How many people remember Billy and Bart Gunn? That's like probably saying, not many, but us older people do know them. And I don't even with remember, the network now, you should be able to see them. I don't even remember Billy and Bart Gunn. That's like saying, okay, do you think Road Dog and Jeff Jarrett are gonna go in before? Because the Roadie and Jeff Jarrett. No. See what I mean? Like, they didn't make an impact yet. Yeah, started the character, but. Do you think Jeff Jarrett will get put in? Nope. Because he started his own wrestling organization? Yep, because he's always against WWE. Jumps from uh, WWE to WCW to TMA. To uh, Global Force. I I I haven't even heard shit about Global Force. Is it even doing anything? I don't know. I know Jim Ross just said that their first big pay-per-view is the only match he's calling this year. I I haven't heard shit about that. I, I follow him on Twitter, but there's been, like, no tweets or nothing. Of course, I follow about 50 million people, so I wouldn't even, if I see yeah. it, it comes across. Who That's the hell knows? true. You probably just swipe right past.